Next, we can go from the concept of self-attention layers to multi-headed attention layers. So right now we have created the softmax between two representations of the input X and multiply them by another representation that we kept separate called value and got the output of the attention or self-attention. Since this is just one layer, it would calculate the attention which should be paid to a single word. And also because we are using softmax, it will maximize the attention that should be paid to a single word. We might want to pay attention to multiple important words. So just like CNNs, where we create not just one kernel, but a block of kernels that would extract multiple features from a given image. Here we create multiple multi-attention layers. Each one of them will create the attention for different words. And that's the concept of multi-head attention. So it's basically creating multiple attention layers and at the end concatenating them before passing them to a prediction layer. So what we did in this capsule is looked at the GPT architecture. We looked at how we can encode the text, but also the position of each word in a sequence. Most importantly, we looked at the masked multi-headed self-attention layer and saw how we could go from the three projections of the input, query, key, and value, to a matrix that will contain information from V with the amount of attention that we should pay to each word in the sequence. And the rest are pretty straightforward. Residual connections, normalization, feed forward network, which is basically a linear layer, another residual connection, and finally prediction. So going from Attentions to NLP to attentions applied to computer vision is pretty simple. So a given image is basically a sequence of pixels. So we can think of them as a sequence of different pixels from left to right, top to bottom. And we can extend this idea of creating query, keys, and values matrices to images. This was introduced in 2019, the model that is fully attention and does not use convolution layers. Going to a more recent and more performant vision transformers or VIT, VIT. The paper uses this idea of attention by creating different patches of image. So in this case, given this input image, we create a three by three patch of image. Then we unroll them into a single flattened sequence of patches from left to right, top to bottom. And after we do that, we create the position embeddings, which is these numbers, one, two, three, four, all the way to nine. And similar concept to token embeddings, where we turn every patch of image into an embedding vector. Then the rest is pretty basically uh, copy-paste of the original Transformers model, the encoder part, where we use the multi-edit attentions, residual skip connections, and these are the Q, K, and V created from the patches. And then we can just replace this backbone. If we have, let's say, a ResNet backbone in our CNN pipeline, or let's say VGG16, we can replace it with this transformer backbone. So the output could be anything, could be classification, object detection, whereas we saw in stable diffusion, it could be a unit, which will basically do image to image transformations.